Hello everyone, welcome to Liberable. Bro, what are we driving today? Today we're driving the new Audi Q3 Sportback. This is the 40 TFSI yeah. S-Tronic. 40 meaning 2 litre turbo with 132 kilowatt and 320 newton meters of torque. torque. Okay, yeah. see how that feels. Yeah, let's do a launch. Let's go. So it's drive, like you know these typical uh, Audis. Um, drive and Alex obviously doesn't have to work use a car no, this thing so. switched itself off right so it's we dynamic dynamic traction off yep gearbox and sport yeah and then foot on the brake and then floor it you ready mm, not bad whoa oh, what was that where did that come from <laughs> quite an aggressive where did that come change. from and a hundred that's not bad <laughs> but that's not where it's going to be spending most of its time so let's put it back into comfort traction back on and then take a deep breath so q3 what's it like to daily i think first thing that comes to mind is pretty easy to drive pretty intuitive everything is kind of like ergonomic the steering wheel is it's got all the right curves in all the right places i'd say <laughs> And it's this flat bottomed one with the paddle shifters. This is an optional extra. And if you are going to spend the money on this car, remind me of the price. 929,790 and as tested. Mm. But if you are going to spend that money on this car, then definitely get one of these wheels because it's nice. It's optional extra. Yeah. Nice. And the S-Line pack as well. I think it's like 50,000 Rand. That's, mm. that's definitely worth it. Oh, and the BNO sound system. Mm. Phenomenal. Mind blowing. Anyway, in terms of handling, I think we can just gloss over it. This, as I said before, this is not a track-focused car. It's a normal Q3 to lug yourself and your small family around. So it's quite humble in the way it drives. It's very solid on the road. You're not going to go sliding off anywhere, but by no means is it the most like exhilarating thing to drive. Steering is, is quite linear. It's true to where you point it. In terms of brakes and accelerator, it obviously depends what drive mode you're in for the accelerator it dials up the throttle responsiveness and then the brakes do we have to talk about it it's, it's audi you know they work mm -hmm. gearbox also pretty good it, it's quite intuitive seems to know what gear you need to be in most of the time the only time i seemed to catch it off guard was when there was an incline change and it was an efficiency mode it seemed to hang onto a higher gear a little bit too long but other than that really really decent then in terms of actual ride, I think it's fairly comfortable. What do you think? I think it is quite comfortable. It doesn't have the adaptive damping, mm -hmm. but for but even so, so yeah, for a car that's basically a commuter car, I'm I'm really impressed. Mm -hmm. uh, and then seat-wise, I'd say that they're pretty comfortable. They got good lumbar support. I, agree. I just think that I can't find a bolstering setting to kind of yeah. adjust the bolstering. And for a skinny guy, you have a little bit of wiggle room. And I'm not yeah. I mean, I, you and I aren't the, 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 the most Gebou Owens, but um, I am quite losing. But it's not a problem. Um, if you look at the clientele that's going to buy this car, not saying the clientele is fat, please. What I'm trying to say is that it's people of all shapes and sizes, and um, it's, the seats are going to be comfortable just for the daily commute and for the long road um, if you go on holidays. The overall look of the car does follow that Audi brand image of mm. subtle thing, huh? Mm, I think it's quite good looking. This grill as well, a mix of gloss and matte black. Mm, 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 mm. And it's smooth, it doesn't have the dimples in it. Mm. That, that, that texture finish, I like the smooth finish. And then how these headlights, they 7,500 Rand extra. These are the Matrix headlights. Absolutely sure. amazing. I wish I can actually show you guys an example of how great these headlights are. We work. can try explain it basically like at nighttime, if you've got oncoming traffic, you leave your brights on and it just like deletes the light from where that yeah. car is, just that uh, small shape. I'll link, uh, I'll have Alex find a YouTube video for you guys where they actually explain how the headlights work in this car. And mm. under the hood... Let me pop that. Now we won't talk about the side profile. But under the hood is Audi's EA888. One we are quite familiar with in VW yeah. and Audi products. Yeah, this engine makes extremely uh, awesome power in the Audi S3, the TTS, 
etc. But in here, as we mentioned, 132 kilowatts, 320 newton meters of torque, a claimed acceleration figure of 7.8 yeah. seconds. This car is mainly for comfort driving. It's not gonna mm. like blow your socks off with performance, but it's going to impress you with fuel consumption um, and just the overall feel of the engine that is really smooth. Okay, side, side profile. profile. And we said it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's quite nice. Gloss black mirror caps. You've got these 20 inch V spoke Audi rims. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't like the way it looks. I prefer the edge. <laughs> like, like this spot here doesn't work for me. I much prefer the, the, the Q3 non-sport pack. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I do like, and there obviously is something I like, all mm. these wheels. I really like the design. Mm. I like the color. They're part of the sports yeah. package. So and 50 it's got nice high profile tires. So it really rides um, really smoothly. And, the road noise is really minimal in this car mm. because of how high the profile of the tire is. So what's the boot of the Q3 like, Alex? So obviously you were mentioning it's got a sloped roof line, so you are going to compromise a little bit with the load height over mm -hmm. there. This one is claimed at 530 liters, otherwise it is it is what you see. You yeah, which you can't see there, so we'll add it all for you to see yeah. the boot. Otherwise, it does have quite a nifty party trick up its sleeve. This backboard over here, comes out we'll b-roll this as well so you can see it quite nicely but i'm going to do my best to make this look quite smooth it's not going in very smoothly no 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 i, I practiced this man look at these going in smoothly it's just these little clippy things on the side yeah that need to we need to get rid of yeah there we go oh and, and that's gone. a flush and now you have all this extra room for your luggage. Right. Not bad at all. Glad am I that that screen that used to be here is not in this car. Because of I... Of course, that's the first thing he yeah. notices is mechanical dials for the aircon. <laughs> I struggled with that screen. Um, I know I've watched a lot of other videos where people mm. was really impressed by it. And they were saying how intuitive it is. Mm. I unfortunately never found it very intuitive. I think you were in the same boat as me. Yeah, on the highway when you're trying to focus on the road and you touch the touchscreen button. I know they did try counteract that by yeah. putting like a vibration system on. Yeah. But I I never felt it. But this is quite good because they've integrated the brand new Audi's MMI head unit. But they've retained the mechanical mm. buttons for the aircon. Mm. Material choices in the Q3 is also really nice. Everything you touch and feel feels really nice. This is one thing here that I found weird was along the edges here, because of the pattern that you use, it almost looks like a wrap, but it isn't. <laughs> it's just black, a uh, plastic here on top. It does and actually then, from this angle look like yeah, some carbon fiber. Yeah, over there. and these aluminium pieces here are just everything again in this car. Mm. It's just beautifully put together. Mm. I also like that I have a volume dial. Yeah. That's so on that note, as we said, this is the brand new MMI unit that Audi has brought yeah, out. We can actually start to go up and we can yeah. show you that. So the biggest change that I can see so far is the fact that they no longer have that big mechanical yeah. dial here. Everything is now focused on the touchscreen, obviously minus yeah. the aircon controls mm. and obviously the volume knob. But other than that, they've also angled it slightly more towards yeah. the driver, which makes you feel more in control, yeah. makes it feel like a cockpit that's centered around yeah. the driver, which is... A pretty cool feature yeah. to have. I'm not going to go into detail with Audi's MMI. You're more than welcome to watch the A140 TFSI video. You can mm. watch, um, there's a lot of Audi videos on my channel. Um, go and check those videos out. I do go more into detail in there. And Alex and I also spoke about it in our Audi S6 video. Mm. And uh, on that topic, you can also change all these colors in here. You guys know that about these cars. Now, so I'm not going to mm. not going to go too, too much in there. On the topic of features inside here for uh, comfort, we have wireless charging, a USB-C port, and a Type-A port. So if you know you how nice that is? Because we've gotten into a couple cars recently, and it's only the new type. Yeah, not the and old And then one. I'm stuck with my old Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I try and plug it in, I'm like, ah, I'm not that advanced. Oh, so I sit with a flat battery all day. Two cup holders and a slot for your phone. But as you can probably tell, my phones are recording here. Mm. So, yeah. This is quite cool. So if you open it all the way, it obviously closes again. But if you open it a little bit, yeah. or a little bit, it locks where it is so you get the yeah. kind of like angled armrest you can also slide it forward if you want to yeah. hold the gear knob and still be supported yeah that's about it guys there's not much to talk about inside the car i think it's really ergonomically well put together um that's, that's audi what yeah. do you expect yeah yeah
Otherwise, in the back, in terms of seating, you still have the Alcantara yeah. package. Even with your height and the size of your enormous head, they have put like a bump here in the roof where your head can still fit. I call it the mm. Alex head test. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it fits quite well. There, there. was actually a guy in the Lamar series races. They oh. gave a bump to his mm. race car as well. To put his melon. Yeah, and it ended up being coined after him. Like, that's what it was called from Yes, it was but quite funny, actually. So, yeah, Alex's head does fit on top because they do put, like, a bubble thing over there. I'm short. I'm it's quite interesting because it is, as we mentioned, yeah. a sloped roof line. So. Yeah, legroom in our seating mm -hmm. position is perfectly fine. Mm. Um, it's just a... Yeah, I'm impressed, bro. Mm. And then there's the B&O sound system with three speakers in each door in front, two speakers in each back door. You have two height channels at the back, so there's channels even above in the roof and the subwoofer in the boot. It is phenomenal. It's in the spare wheel. Yeah. It's quite cool. Like you go really to change good. your tire and there's just a speaker inside. Yeah. Make sure you turn the surround level off if you do have a Q3 with B&O. What it does is it, it kind of emphasizes the mids, but that's only if you've made it this far in this video. The top, the hot tip <laughs> from me. Turn the surround sound, um, slide it down, at the three, uh, slide, it, slide it to quarter way, it really works. That's that, too much time that, already that, spent that's on that. The, that's the number of times I think he's mentioned the sound system in this car. Yeah. You know it's good. Yeah. He's talked about it during the drive, the parked, yeah. and the other drive yeah. section. Okay, let us hit the road and conclude this video. The Q3 is a really nice A to B car for you and your small family. It's a nice place to be inside, it's really comfortable, it's practical, it drives really well and it's really refined. In terms of competition, you're looking at the Mercedes GLB, which we haven't actually driven here at Liverable yet. And then from BMW side, we've got the X1. Now, I think unanimously, Niaz and I both have decided that the Q3 is our pick of the bunch. Obviously, that's subject to change if we ever do drive the GLB. And what we are also looking forward to is testing the RS Q3. Because obviously, same car, just much, much more power and a lot more exhilarating to drive. And who's not looking forward to that? Anyway, guys, that was our take on the new Q3 Sportback. Be free, be you, Liberable, out.